close your eyes and watch your breath. The breath is food for the body and food for the mind. If you didn't breathe, you'd die. And the energy of the breath can make a huge difference in your health. So ask yourself what kind of breathing would feel really nourishing right now, and allow the body to breathe in that way. If it doesn't respond on its own, you might give it a little nudge, making it deeper for a bit, or more shallow, or deeper, or whatever. See what feels really good. And this is food for the mind as well. The mind gets a chance to rest, it gets a chance to gather its strength. And it develops a lot of strength as well. Because this is the kind of food is not that just that you take nourishment in, but in the process of taking in the nourishment, you strengthen the mind. How is that? You've got conviction that what you're doing is important, that the actions you take really do make a difference. It's so easy to get discouraged in the world nowadays. You see people behaving in all kinds of horrible ways, and there's nothing much you can do about it. But at least you have your own actions that you're responsible for, and you can do something about those. And it is important that you do that, because this is what shapes your life. When you have that conviction, it makes you really strong. Then there's persistence. You really stick with this, each breath coming in, each breath going out. You're mindful to keep this in mind, don't forget. And you're alert at the same time. Mindfulness and alertness have to go together. The mind finally gets concentrated, and when the mind is concentrated and still, then you start seeing things more clearly. And the ability to see things clearly helps you cut through all kinds of unnecessary burdens you take on, and to find sources of strength you might have not seen before. So this is how staying with the breath nourishes the mind. It puts the mind in a position where it gets really, really strong. So you can live in any situation. Most of us think, well, we have to live in this particular situation or that particular situation. People have to be like this. My surroundings have to be like that. My work has to be like this. And all too often, things are not that way. And if your mind can't live in other situations, can't maintain its sense of well-being and, and inner satisfaction in other situations, then you're really weak. Your goodness depends on things outside, and that's not a goodness you can trust. If your goodness depends on the qualities you build inside, the strengths you build inside, that's a lot more trustworthy. You can trust yourself, other people can trust you, because you're coming from a position of well-being and strength that doesn't have to depend on things outside being this way or that. This is why meditating is really good for the mind. It's food for the mind. The kind of food you can take with you wherever you go, even if, if when you go through deserts where there's no food around, you still have your own food, and it's not spoiled. You can nourish yourself at any time. 